Do you ever wish that you had an invisibility cape? Or that your superpower could be invisibility? Well, that might be a closer reality than you think. Through my exhibit, you can get a glimpse into the world of invisibility and you can make one at home. All you need is a striped background, a crate, and a piece of Louvre's lens that you can buy online easily. My exhibit places the striped background at the back of the crate and a piece of Louvre's lens over the opening of the crate. With some holes through the sides, I can stick my hand in to observe what happens, and I can also place in different objects to test how distance and color can matter in producing the disappearing effect. Louvre's lens, or my invisibility shield, is probably something that you've seen or heard about before. Magicians have used it as a simple magic trick to make pens and other items disappear in someone's palm. Popular YouTubers have used it to make giant invisibility shields that can hide their entire body. The military has also tried using this material to hide their technology. But how does this work and why does it work? Isn't this something from Harry Potter or an imagined magical world? Let's talk about how and why this works. It turns out that the science behind it is quite simple and broadly known as geometric optics. This means we're going to treat light like beams that go in straight lines. Like if a car had its headlights on, that light would be traveling in one direction and in a straight line. That's a pretty big term for a big effect like invisibility and disappearing. What that means is that the Louvre's lens is absorbing some light that comes from certain directions and allowing light coming in other directions through. So in my exhibit, it turns out that images in the same placement as my striped background can pass through while others disappear. But let's light deeper into how the actual Louvre's lens selects what light gets to pass through. It looks like a flat sheet, but it's actually a bumpy piece of material. If you run your nail over the surface, you can almost hear something like a zipper being pulled up and down on the bumpy surface of the Louvre's lens. This bumpy surface is exactly what is allowing some, but not all, light to pass through. Light waves that are traveling perpendicular to the direction of the bumps can pass through, but light waves that are traveling parallel to the direction of the bumps are blocked. Let's think about it this way. If I have a pen placed in the same direction as the bumps, the light waves are traveling horizontal to the Louvre's lens. So I've drawn some horizontal ridges. What do you think might happen? You're right, if the pen is going to disappear. The light is traveling parallel to the ridges, so the light is absorbed. What if I place the pen vertically? I'll be able to see the pen on the other side. The light waves are traveling perpendicular to the ridges and can now pass through. You got the concept. What's more, you already use a lot of objects that bend light in your everyday life. The lenses on glasses bend light to help people see. Or the use of filters to take images with better contrast on a camera. Now that you know how the invisibility shield works, can you think of other ways this might be super useful? What about using the invisibility shield to create the plane that Iron Man uses in the Marvel movies to transfer his valuable belongings when he's moving? What if naturalists could hide themselves in nature to take pictures of animals? The possibilities are endless if we can learn how to master the art of invisibility.